Hey everyone, and welcome back to the colony who never turns a single refugee away, even if we're going to have a death every single day. <laughs> Here's the plan for today's episode. I want to find some science. All hope is not lost. We get chef training and we can convert our stuffs to food. We're going to have a rough and rocky many deaths coming up. I can tell you it's not going to be joyous. There will be some pain and suffering. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven deaths so far. In the two prior episodes, we only had five. Uh, I think there's no way you can avoid this if you're accepting every single person. Uh, however, uh, we'll just see how it works out here and off to the races we go. Here we go. We can fit a sneaksy trap, so right out back there. That's going to help out. Got one over there as well. I'm gonna get as many trappers, really, as I can fit. Even if they're not, like, the most efficient thing in the world. That's two more. Fantastic. Awesome. And then this one over here, we can probably go something like this. Beautiful. Resources for these it shouldn't be too much of an issue. I don't think we have planks going anywhere else. We do have some metal coming over here whenever it gets harvested up. And there's just gonna be a lot of deaths. I'll count them up. Ah, actually, look at this. Starving is down to negative three. We've only had, I believe, eight deaths. Yep, we've only had eight. No, we've had nine total is what we've had. People aren't exactly happy. They don't have houses, but they're not starving. Technically, there's not one ounce of food in the entire town. However, we might be on the road to recovery after only a handful of deaths. Speaking of... Welcome, Nomad, with your 40 food, 13 meds, and 35 concrete. Absolutely amazing. Wow. That that could not have been better times. Like, that was really important. I'm going to probably come back out and get these. You know what? I think we're going to come up in this direction. Start clearing out whatever we clear out and grab stuff from, from that. Whew. <gasps> and there's the science. We 717, 67% danger and two times hazards, which is not the best, but that's pretty much what we're looking for. Uh, we can come back over here. It's going to take a while, but by the end of the episode, for sure, we'll get that science. We'll get the mess hall. We will solve this food dilemma, boys. We will solve it. Whew. Isabella's now an adult? Yes! No more starvation! Well, actually looks like four people are starving, but that's just because they're too dumb to eat. Another trapper in town? Oh, George died of radiation sickness? Oh, I suppose we don't have uh, any kind of good treatment for that, huh? That or he went in the wrong house and sat there forever for no reason. Oh, well, we do have some pills coming back in the not-too-distant future. There we go. Occupants, two out of two. Awesome. Boom! Trapping number two. Boom, boom. Fantastic. Wheats harvesting at 57. Yield 54. Amazing. Everyone's sitting out here. It's not the best of times. This is almost done. 16 out of 20 now. I think we're going to be all right. With only nine total deaths. Well, one of it was from radiation. So eight total deaths from that crazy starvation. I expected a lot, lot, lot worse. Colonists want to talk about a landfill. Two colonists infected. Well, there's been worse results in the lands. One thing I had just completely forgot about all last episode was the ability to farm berry bushes. 100% forgot about it. Whoopsie daisy. A pandemic is coming. Untreated colonists will die eventually. We're going to need some water and we're going to need facilities and antibiotics. Well, as luck would have it, we have facilities. We do not, however, have a sufficient water. I feel like we need a couple more just to be on the safe side. And we're going to need some antibiotics as well, which there's a whole bunch to the west. We have a couple of days to go start gathering those up and bringing them back. In the meantime, I will just plant water for all of time. Mm. 
Ah, and the insect farm is here. I suppose. Whoa! Oh, come on! <laughs> Crow is a scout. We really don't need a scout. We need a scavenger or a fighter. I can't. Frank, <laughs> 40? Yes. I haven't even housed the last group of 30. Hmm. You know what? Let me ignore them just for- I, I can still accept later, so technically I'm not quitting the challenge. As long as I do it at some point. Let's go for mealworms. Technically. Technically. We'll be alright as long as I do it sometime. That's all. Okay, here's our Simigian of antibiotics. We don't have a huge amount, but we'll bring them back. We'll get there in time. I'm feeling like Nomad's gonna have to go ga- I was gonna come this direction. I see that was a mistake now. I should have gone this direction because there's quite a few out there. One, two, three. But by the time we get out there and come back, it's gonna be too late. We'll have to survive on what we have, I suppose. Voila! Another insect farm. Fantastic. Go for mealworms. So mealworms for days now. All manner of soybeans left and right. Food is actually going up. Insect farm completed. Deposits. Uh, these are basically the very last deposits on the entire map. There's only a handful left. Here and there. That's about it. Well, I got 32 people sitting around doing nothing. So here's my solution. We're just going to put medium fields everywhere. They cost nothing. Uh, who cares if the colonists run 4,000 miles to get to them? I, sir, don't. Stack some small fields in there where we can. Not bad. Over here, by the way. Whoo! One. This is this is the ticket to victory right here. Just infinite fields. I'm actually gonna start demolishing my stockpiles. I just don't need them anymore. They we've uh, we've harvested just about everything except that large pile out there and a couple small other things. Ah, for once, something I could actually use. 26 corn for 11 concrete. Very, very, very nice. I mean, concrete, I'm not sure how to replace that once we run out, and we are about to run out, but I just need the food. Make sure we can stay on top of this for a while longer. I also feel like it would be really, really beneficial for us if we could get some more... Oh, I can't quite do that because of the part here. Uh, if we could get some more trees. So I'm going to do double forester. Awesome. Soybean one. Soybean two. Little baby soybean. Soybean three. People working at farms for a hundred years. Soybean four. Whoo! Now we're talking. One, two, three, four, five medium fields and a small field. This is the ticket to food for a hundred years. New plan, another insect farm. One can never have enough insect farms. I had no idea how strong these things were. This time, however, I'm gonna build a wind turbine because I have the eight parts uh, and it uses eight, com it's more uh, component efficient, although it has to use parts as well. But I got the parts sitting around and I don't have too many components. This will give us more than enough energy to run the ant farm. And we'll even have enough energy to run an ad almost an additional ant farm. I think they're 12 apiece, if I remember correctly. Yeah, almost. So this will work out once we build a second one of the wind turbine. We can build two more ant farms. Where to put it? Well, I mean, there's a nice little place. Boop, right by the seashore. Ah, uh, the foresters are getting done. Beautiful. I don't want them to move too much if I don't have to, but this is nice fertile dirt, so I suppose we'll come right out over there. Oh, Theo died from starvation. He must have been really low on the hit points is the thing. Oh, ah, uh, Eleanor died from radiation sickness. Okay, don't worry about the contagion coming up. Not a big deal, guys. People are falling over dead left and right because they have low hit points from the prior starvation. Surely this won't be a concern going forward. Definitely not. 
On a plus note, though, we're making bread, so that's fancy. And we actually have wheat, too, believe it or not. So the wheat they can't eat, which means the wheat does get turned into... Or rather, they can't eat the flour. Maybe they can't eat the wheat? I'm not sure. Either way, we've got wheat, and we're going to turn uh, a bunch of that into a whole bunch of bread very quickly. In fact, it looks like we might even want another bakery. Maybe kind of single mill power two bakeries? Not sure. Ah, uh, there's our second forester. Absolutely wonderful. We'll throw that down over there. Looks like we're just about ready to start cutting here. Uh, and next up, I would love to build another sawmill. I know we've had 42 people unhoused for a very long time. But the amount of planks you need in this game is unreal. Wow, Mila died also stopped. A bear was spotted. You guys want to hunt it? Bring it back? Yes, take that stupid starvation. 27 meals for us. Well, we got our delivery. So we're up to two antibiotics, seven iodine, a bunch of medications. That's not the worst situation to be in. We've also got the 30 food. I really hope no one else dies here and they can grab it all. Colonist Leo died from starving to death. There's food in the colony. Wow, well, there was food in the colony. <laughs> Seems like we constantly have 20 food storage here. But then again, how much uh, wheat do we have? Literally nothing. How much will we have soon? None. Nice, the wind turbine's done. We're just waiting on metal over here in the insect farm. That'll be even more food. Speaking of, 46, 48... 64. So, look at that. Water. I don't know how much it went up by. I thought I had plenty. Plenty of water. Turns out I've got 1.5 extra water. Let's make sure everyone's here working on the medical tents, because I imagine we're going to have a lot of people sick very soon. We may not have enough medical tents, but we do have a lot of medicine, and the antibiotics will help to some extent. Oh, the scrapper finally moved out. Uh, the scrap pile, fantastic. Look at this double scrap pile over there. That's fancy. But the time they spend walking to these places is kind of excessive. Ooh, science. Another 718. A little dangerous. Especially if we're doing it 90 at a time. Well, I think that'll almost basically... F wow! That will almost certainly finish the tech tree. We got 718 there, 717 here, and another 500 there. Amazing. 20 colonists are infected. Wow! We are definitely going to need more medical tents. Fortunately, we almost have the resources. We don't have the metal, though, is the problem. And we really need the metal over here for this, and we're 11 away from it on the insect farm. I have faith. I have faith in the power of everyone here working around the clock to heal all of these things because we brought home all manner of medicines. Interesting, we use all seven iodine pills, like, basically instantly. Oh, God! Penelope died of infection! Huh? Well, that's, that's right, because they're all low health from various other miscellaneous conditions. <laughs> All right, I, I may have to not accept the next wave of colonists. Eh, or maybe I do. By the way, did that last one disappear? Who knows? I think it did. Yeah, I, I think that challenge is done. Let's just see if we can recover. Well, four happiness to the colony because we gave him three planks. So that helps a little bit. Fear of death, negative 1400 does not help. Dylan's grown up. That doesn't help. <laughs> and another... Oh my god. That's all the science we need. And now we're coming home with 45 food, 77 firewood, and 77 metal. It's a good time to come home, too. Especially because everyone's really wounded, and we needed those meals, like, yesterday. I hope they just come out here and grab the meals. Oh, yep, yeah. they run in, and boom, instantaneously their food issue is gone. <laughs> They're just running in. They're all infected at the corner. <laughs> just like, please, food! Sleeping on each other. Oh, this is great. This is great. 36 colonists are infected! Well, we did just get the metal delivery. So there is still hope.
There's not one, but two med places. We get these priorities super high. We also have the metal over here now for that, as a result of running back. He is a third medical place. And here is a fourth one. Amazing. The, okay, now the problem here is we don't have the planks for all of these. And each one takes ten. We can probably do two right now. So we'll pause these two. Oh boy! Radiation sickness, starve to death even though there's 23 food. 33 colonists are infected. Radiation sickness. None of this has actually anything to do over here. Really, we just didn't have any iodine pills forever. All the antibiotics are gone now, but... What are you gonna do? Lillian died of infection. Six colonists have now grown up! Wow, we have 46 kids. This is so ridiculous. 45 colonists are infected! Oh my god, this one, this medical tent's being constructed. Waste depleted, which is nice to see. Not even sure where the heck, what the plan is right now. Looks like we're going in that general vicinity anyway. Okay, this is nearly done. Everyone's got to do something here. We got to make sure everyone's working. Okay, construction. Go, 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 go. Oh, no one died yet, Buzz. That's two more. One, two. Fantastic. Just 45 colonists infected. That's all. Ooh, this farm's got done down here now as well. <laughs> well, food's up to 70. We may actually be making some progress, especially now that everyone's dying. Uh, speaking of, I'm pretty sure the burial pit's going to be a little overwhelmed very soon. Yeah, we're at 25 out of 30, and I don't see any dead people in the streets right now, but I'm sure there's going to be more soon. This one's also under construction, this medical tent. So we have the ability to treat 10 people simultaneously. Oh, God. Infection. There goes one. 63 colonists are infected? Who made up these rules? Medical tent done. More people working. Fun. Uh, more medical tents, boys. <laughs> One. Two. Oh, wait. No, never mind. We never unpaused the other ones, did we? Okay, yeah, we'll just cancel these. I'll unpause this one because it should be constructed immediately with the amount of planks we have and other resources. Oh, there it is. Whew. So it's lifted, but we have 61 infected. How many people are going to die as a result of this? Oh, wow. That's some craziness right there. There's a lot of wounded. Radiation sickness. Some want to venture outside the gate. By all means, nine berries. We're rich. Speaking of rich, 183. Our first soybean harvest are coming in, and they're coming in from everywhere. I think we've got food solved. We have 86 bonus water now. We've got f six foresters planting forests. And we're about to get a ton of research. I mean, things are looking just fine and dandy. Yeah, let's get all these antibiotics for the next time that happens. <laughs> Mason died, another colonist died. We got 45 here, not too bad. This last medical tent's en route. Ella died, that's three more. Nice, this one's getting constructed at long last. Finley died, only 41 colonists infected. Could be worse. Let's turn this one on. Get the rest of those planks in there. Two colonists died of radiation. Eh? Three colonists of radiation. Sebastian died. Infection. Whoo, boys. That's it. The burial pit is kaput. We're just going to have to build another one. We actually have no free carriers left. I have so many people working the four million farms. 
Oh, only 16 colonists are homeless, which is nice. I think it's just that everyone's really sick and we're working too many medical stations right now. Here we go for the science. Boom! Wow, that hit for 40. Okay, now I understand what this means. Each one of these does 20 hit points of damage. Especially with a 67% chance. That's going to be incredibly annoying to try to capture. Lily died. No free carriers. Yeah, I'll work on that in a bit. For now, though, the most important thing to me is chef training. The mess hall. Thank the heavens. Let's see if we're even close to being able to build that. Actually, it's not all that bad. Wait a minute. Oh, I, I guess you can choose what you want to do with it. it. Looks like it just outright doubles your meals. We have 275 concrete. We, uh, yeah, we've got plenty, except, of course, for the planks, which is a huge issue right now. We're going to need another wood uh, sawmill. And what better place to put it than right at the precipice of the forest? Joseph and Brooklyn have both died, unfortunately. 25 colonists are infected. We're trying our best. Over here, this sawmill's actually done. We've run out of people to work in it. Wow. <laughs> I think I've gone overboard on the food. <laughs> 510 food. Well, there you go. People are dying left and right. Radiation, infection. Only 18 are remaining, though. 17, 16, Eleanor died. We're almost there. This is finally, at long last, let's cancel the construction of that thing. We don't need it. This is finally the home stretch. Then we can get everyone off these medical tents. Yeah, I got about nine people walking or working the medical tents. Looting local. Go for it, boys. 13 metal two parts. Amazing. 13 people infected. Finally, it's underneath the amount of medics we have at long last. Hopefully we don't get hit again. Oh, nope. When they say 67%, they mean 67%. So this is going to be like run, 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 run. Lots of fun. <laughs> well, that's all it takes. Boom. Can't loot anymore. Back we go. 32 more people want to seek shelter. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. We got food. <laughs> and we need people to haul stuff. And we get another scout. Welcome aboard, boys. 16 children. Ah, it'll be fine. How many children do we have now? 60. Whoo. Everything is great. Now we've got 11 haulers. All the stations are filled back up. Food for a million years. Power. We're good. Good, 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 good. Oh, there's a scroll down here. Interesting. All right. The burial pit is complete. That should probably house everyone. All the infections are gone. That's fantastic. We've kicked everyone out uh, of all of the different some medical tents. Finally, some peace and restoration. And going forward, we should be very, very efficient with our food if we can get one of these uh, meal prep. Which is going to be the very next thing on the list. The mess hall. It's a little big. But that's really what we need for efficiency. Mm, that's a half-decent place to put it, I suppose. Construction of the sawmill is complete now. That's what we're talking about. Start harvesting this. I don't think anyone's been harvesting this at all. Yeah, it's probably fully grown at this point. Once the mess hall's done, now with three sawmills, we should be getting a lot more planks. Then we can start finally building houses, taking care of that issue. Maybe I'll build those these tents, build even more. And with that, we have actually depleted every single resource on the map. Not the, uh, the plastics or the metals yet. But all of the uh, concrete and the planks. Where do I get more concrete from here? No idea. I guess uh, the map, the world map, there's some here and there. Whoa, 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 boss! It's not necessary! It's not! No! 
Whoo! Medium field destroyed. Was that nest? I mean, I know I've gone a little crazy on the food here, but wow. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna rebuild that. I, don't, I really do. I'm just gonna have a million of them. Small fields destroyed now too. You know what? I probably don't need that small field to be entirely honest. Amazingly, this tent didn't get destroyed by the meteor hitting it in the face. Ah, the mess! Oh, look at it in all of its glory. Three people can work here. Ooh, is it all the same exact recipes? Yes. Except that now three people can work here, so it's slightly more efficient. Let's take a look at what we've got. Uh, we've got unbelievable amounts of soy. There's some venison. And that looks to be about it. I think we're going to go for the mixed meal. I think it's finally time to build a second tool shop. And a second... A clothing factory. It has been long overdue, and if I wasn't playing super ridiculous challenge mode, would have had this a long time ago. The, the clothes don't really matter too much because we don't have too much fiber. Speaking of, we're gonna need another scrapper over here. Something I have, uh, I have, no, not scrapper, recycler. I've got two scrappers, but I never build a second recycler. So we'll throw him in right about there. Beautiful. Now, this will take a little bit of wood, which means we'll still have homeless for a little while longer. But once it's done, everyone will work way, way, way faster with tools. And we'll, we're, I think we've got something. Yeah, there we go. Two-story house. It's actually, well, I think since I built it, like <laughs> eight plus more people have been bored. So it doesn't really help us too much. Uh, in any event, like I was trying to say, there's a lot of things that are 26... Uh, clothing, another 16 clothing there. Those two things should probably get most people taken care of. Maybe not. I wish there was a total. Clothing, consumption, 178. Production, 2. Well, that doesn't tell me very much. A bear spotted. Come on, boys. We need more food. Seven berries. <laughs> the tailor is almost done. Tool shop isn't done. Boom, awesome. 98 metal. Uh, over here. Okay, we don't really have much fiber, but it doesn't matter. I'll put two people on it. We're down to 17 hollers. That's good. Uh, and six more planks. We'll have uh, two more people to or gather recycles to keep both tailors going. So two tailors, two tool shops at long last. Now that we've got a population of 180. I'm even running out of places to remove the nuclear radiation. Nice. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, another meteor shower. It just planks. Just planks, planks, planks. Need planks for days. Three sawmills. It's not enough planks. Three sawmills fully operational. Just not enough planks. 42 survivors? Holy. Wheeler. We already had Wheeler. This time he's a scavenger, though. Ooh, that could be helpful. 42? Uh, yeah, I think I've learned my last. We have the food. But we still have 38 people who can't go into a house, and I just can't get enough wood no matter what we're doing. Wow. Oh, hey, we got the recycler going now, too. Fantastic. More people move. Let's find some recycles. There they are. Awesome. Actually, that one's being worked on by someone else. How about over here? Awesome. Joseph's an adult. Low on tools. We're working on it, though. I think I just realized something. I think... There's no end to this game. We've essentially survived the aftermath. If I've proven anything, it's that you really don't need houses to survive. In fact, you don't need anything, even on the hardest difficult. It's like impossible to lose. Worst case, your people die off, and then you get 50 million more at the gate 10 seconds later. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, at this point, it's just waiting for planks. Like, I just, I can't get enough planks. It's so boring. I need, I would need to get probably 8 million sawmill guys, which I could do, but I'm just sick of moving around. Sick of moving all these guys. I wish there was, like, a more automated way to make them do stuff towards the end. Huh. Interesting. Well, I guess that's it. 
New game. So that's it. Yeah, there's no there's no story to it. So fascinate. Well, I mean, I guess it's literally called surviving the aftermath, and no matter what you do, you're gonna survive the aftermath. Hmm. Fun. But, uh, need kind of a story to it, I think. And then to maybe some micro reduction towards the end when you get all those, all those, uh, peasants and whatnot. The disasters are more like just clicks. Like, they're just click-a-thons. Those disasters are not disasters. They're not like surviving Mars that actually killed the colony, which was incredible. These disasters are like, click five buildings, you're done. You win. You repaired them. Did you build three water towers? You can build them anywhere in the world, but did you do it? There's six wood if you didn't. Do you have two days notice? I don't know, it's still pretty cool, all in all. Anyways, we'll see how the game will develop over time. I mean, this is early access after all. But for now, we are done surviving the aftermath. Thank you guys very much for watching and we'll see you soon.